Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast. Wanted to thank everybody for listening and supporting the show in whatever way you can. And one of the ways you can support us right now is by giving us a five star review on iTunes. Uh, that would really help us out if you can. And if you don't want to give it five stars, uh, fine, but it would really help us out. But we have a lot of news to get to today, a couple stories about KPMG. And then something about E&Y, uh, what the show's title is going to be about, E&Y and 5G. But first, I wanted to get through the KPMG news stories pretty quick. The first one is that KPMG settled the pay discrimination lawsuit in NYC in Manhattan. As you might remember, we had a podcast about this where KPMG was being sued for pay discrimination related to women. And they were facing a lawsuit in New York. And it was an old case. I think it was like 10 years. But it's now been resolved for about $10 million. And this means that each claimant in the case will get about $14,000 a piece. So they had to wait all these years and they really only get $14,000. And that's just... I mean, it's terrible to go through that situation. But going through the legal battle of all this, it takes time. And you don't end up getting that much, unfortunately. And, and I doubt their KPMG is really going to do anything to change their culture. Even if the judge says something, how would you really enforce that? KPMG is such a larger organization. They can fight that. They can just issue press releases to say what they're doing. But to me, I don't know. It just shows, in my view, the toxic culture of KPMG and, you know, of, of friends and colleagues that I know there and what they've faced and specifically in NYC too. So that's just something to keep in mind there. People have different experiences, but you had over 400 people in this case. So it's not a one-off and it's not something uncommon there. It was a crazy culture, but I don't know how it's going to change. And there's even, I even saw another story today. I don't want to go into it in too much detail because it's kind of complicated. But there was a guy that sued PwC in California related to, uh, he, he said that the one of the clients, the PwC wasn't independent of them. And his lawsuit was kind of falling apart because the judge is like, how do you prove this? So what I'm trying to get to here is that a lot of people in the big four get uh, you might get jaded or you might see something that is not ethical. And it's really tough because you have to live through that. It's already tough working in the big four accounting firms of the hours. But then you have to deal with these this things like pay discrimination and, you know, unethical accounting practices. But it's tough fighting against the big four. It's tough fighting against any big corporation. The legal battles are going to be tough long. They're going to appeal everything. So that's something else to keep in mind if you're in the big four or thinking about going to the big four and you think if you see something that you can just sue your way to get the right thing, it's it's not going to be that easy. So you have to consider that. And maybe in another podcast, I'll go into in depth about that. But the next story about KPMG is Solar Winds hired KPMG. Now you might remember Solar Winds was a big story because they got hacked by Russian malware. And they were involved in multiple areas of government and large corporations use their Orion technology. And it was pretty crazy. Uh, the Defense Department uses them, so there could be military things that have gotten hacked. And what came out is SolarWinds disclosed that they, they cost them $8 million, $18 million so far related, legal, related, related to legal and professional fees. And they expect to incur more expenses in the future. And SolarWinds provides technology services like serv servers and server software to many companies. But how does this relate to the big four accounting firms? Well, KPMG has been hired to investigate the attack along with other firms like CrowdStrike. And this is a big win for KPMG. I'm sure they have a piece of that $18 million. And it'll be interesting to see what happens. It'll be interesting to see what they find and whether KPMG 
is able to help solar winds and if they aren't able to help solar winds does it have legal implications for kpmg i'm, I'm really interested in this uh, because it, it's going to either highlight or expose kpmg's uh cybersecurity practice advisory practice in this area it'll be very interesting and pwc is the auditor of solar winds and solar winds spend about two million dollars a year on their audit uh, i'm sure they're going to sp spend plenty more with kpmg and crowdstrike and let's get on to the final story uh eny issued a press release out of the uk and specifically from london and it says the eny and nokia have formed a strategic alliance that is being rolled out to other ey member firms to help enterprises and communication service providers accelerate their digital and business transformation journey. That's like a catch-all phrase that we always see, right? And unleash the potential of private wireless and 5G network capabilities. EY sees this helping with the increase in the usage of Internet of Thing devices that need wireless connectivity. And this alliance will focus on three things. The first thing is it'll fuel digital transformation for manufacturing, energy, and operations across industries including advanced connectivity for enterprises. The Alliance will also address the digital transformation taking place across governments and cities. Number two, it'll build cybersecurity and digital trust by protecting telcos, service providers, and enterprise clients' corporate operations and managing security challenges brought by the increasing prevalence of Internet of Things devices and IT-OT convergence through managed security services and solutions. So there's a lot more Internet of Things devices that are operating nowadays, and hackers expose those because in these Internet of Things devices, they're not, um, they don't have a bunch of security on them. And once you access that Internet of Things device, you can access a lot of other things that it's connected to. So that's why they're highlighting that there. And then finally, number three, the Alliance will also help accelerate digital transformation for communication service providers across their entire life cycle, driving growth and more efficient operations. This means capturing and monetizing 5G business opportunities and digitalizing CSP's complete business operations to achieve lower cost to serve and enhanced customer experience. So they're basically going to help Nokia deploy their 5G technologies and come up with solutions for them and take lessons that they learn to sell that to other clients. And it, and it seems like they're going to focus on manufacturing because they say this technology will be showcased at EOY's Nottingham Spark Innovation Hub, um, which is due to open sometime this spring. Maybe we'll cover that in more detail in another podcast. But this hub is focused on technologies that will help manufacturing companies be more efficient and utilize technologies, which makes sense because I think in manufacturing and warehouses, they're, they're using a lot of these Internet of Things to track inventory and other things like that. So that makes sense to me. And then... The person who had statements in this was Greg Couday, and he is ENY's global technology, media, and entertainment and telecoms leader. And his background, which I looked up, is in tech, technology, like a uh, telecommunications consulting. Uh, he's not an auditor, from what it lo looks like, or a tax person. He focused. He's been in consulting with telecommunications and media, and so this fo this area is focused on on the consulting side of ENY. And as we spoke about and the differences between the big four accounting firms, ENY has a strong footprint with technology clients. Um, so this is only going to help that. Uh, this is very interesting. We've spoken about Deloitte and their AI practice and ENY partnering with the 5G group helps solidify them in the 5G consulting area. So this is very interesting, something to keep in mind if you're looking into being in consulting or technology consulting. So that's just something to keep in mind. So that's the podcast for today. To stay up to date, make sure to subscribe to this podcast. Support us financially through the Buy Me A Coffee link in the show notes to this. And subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a five-star review on iTunes if you can. Thanks for listening.